I'm Dr. Sam Young, a veterinarian here at the Greensboro Science Center. Um, recently we were working on Usha, our four and a half year old female red panda. Um, she came to us in 2016 from the Calgary Zoo uh, and has been living with uh, Ty ever since. Um, as part of her physical exam, uh, we're taking a look at Usha's teeth. Um, they look fantastic. She's very young, so we wouldn't expect them to uh, have any excessive wear or dental uh, calculus accumulation. Um, all that being said, we do want to go ahead while, and take advantage of uh, the situation having her out to clean those up as best possible. Um, so we collect a blood sample from all of our animals uh, whenever we have one under anesthesia to um, check certain enzyme levels in their blood. Um, these give us kind of a heads up, maybe early predictors of liver disease or renal disease, uh, tissue damage, possible signs of infection. Um, all sorts of parameters that we can look at and just make sure our animals are healthy. A lot of times it gives us an early window before the animal starts showing clinical signs. Um, also while Lucia was out, we took uh, full body x-rays of her. Um, again, this is kind of done to preemptively catch any disease processes that might be happening that aren't immediately obvious just with a physical exam. Um, so we'll look at her joints, um, look at her internal organs, the size of her heart, her certain lung patterns can give us some clues. Uh, of potential disease issues. Usha really, again, is a very young animal and looks fantastic. Um, really no issues seen. Um, while we have Usha out, uh, we'll also want to get a weight from her. Um, this allows us to keep an eye on her trending weights. We don't necessarily have an ideal weight for her as an individual. Um, different species vary uh, dramatically in their different size and shapes. Um, but we take that, compare it to her body condition, and really get a more holistic view of what's ideal for her as an individual. Um, as with any patient that's coming up uh, out of anesthesia, um, Usha will be just a little bit loopy for probably the next half an hour or so. Um, but by the end of the afternoon, she'll be back to normal, eating normally, cruising about her exhibit, um, as if nothing happened. It can be hard sometimes to really concentrate on the job at hand uh, when you have such an adorable patient uh, as Usha. Um, she's almost hard to look at, she's so cute. 